What's up guys, Forrest Knight here, and welcome to iDev Journey episode 5. Last week you saw episode 4, and at the end we finished it off with finishing off section 1 on the Udemy course. Now, that one was a little bit more interesting than this section. So section 1, you know, we had the testimonials, we had the success stories, and we had uh, Mark talking a little bit about how to go about learning a course online, and you know, things of that nature. And you guys saw quite a bit of it from the course, because I integrated a little bit into that video. If you didn't see that video, I'll throw it up in the card right here, or right here, wherever side it's on. I think it's that side. And uh, you guys can go check it out there after this video. This video is going to be a little bit about the course. So about the course, uh, and we're in section two now of the Udemy course, and we go over Swift 3. So what we've gone over a bit is variables, operators, unary, binary, and ternary, and he goes through you know the differences and examples of each, uh, and how computers work. Kind of you know you know how uh, computers they communicate using a binary language, you know binary code zeros and ones, while we communicate with the computer using Swift. Luckily, there's a lot of work that goes in in between there where we don't have to communicate using binary language because that's very confusing. And then beyond that, we went over some strings, uh, numbers, how to use numbers in there, how to concatenate, concatenate strings, and, and, and things of that nature, and different ways to, to put strings together. And there's a lot of other things like learning loops and whatnot, but to be completely honest with you guys, I kind of skimmed through this. I, I didn't skim through it. I skipped through it. So every now and then I would, you know, go ahead 15 seconds by hitting the right arrow because I I know I know code. I know C++ and it just takes a little bit to convert C++ into Swift. And just like if you learn Swift, it'll just take a little bit to convert that into C++ or something else, especially at like the low level, like the the basics that we're going over now with variables and all that stuff. So I skipped through it a little bit. I'm not completely done. And if you have, if you don't know any programming language, do not skip through it because this is where you lay your foundation. You might, you may think, you know, how is this going to help me create my game I want to develop or create this social network I want to develop? Trust me, it helps. I mean, it helps. It, this is it. Like this is part of what. Because I remember when I went into it at first, I'm like. This isn't, I'm not going to be able to create a game like this. How am I supposed to create a game, you know, just inputting this and outputting that? Well, this is the, the foundation. Just like you're building a, a house. You have to pour foundation, build the house. If you don't pour the foundation, you have no house. And if you do try to build a house on there, it'll fall over, be sloppy. You don't want sloppy programs or sloppy code, so learn the foundation. We did a lot of work in Playground, so we didn't create a whole application we just played in playground which is a very cool feature that xcode has and we play around in that a bit during this uh, section i mean that's basically it you know we go over you know say a line to declare a variable it's var message equals and then whatever in parentheses if you're going to do a string that's the example i'm using right now so vars variable message is name of the name of the variable equals is the assignment operator and then whatever's in the the quotation marks is the string. Those are just the names for it. And if you don't really know much about programming languages, you won't really understand it. You have to kind of, you know, use it a little bit in order to understand it more and more. And also another thing that Mark did was he went, when he was introducing, you know, variables and whatnot, he went and searched, I think, string on Google, clicked on the first thing, and he read the definition. He's like, oh, yeah, this is actually a very good explanation. You know, I feel like he did that just to kind of show you everybody uses Google. Every programmer uses Google for even some simple things like looking up string. Well, you know, if you're a programmer, you're not going to look up what is the definition of a string. But, you know, it, it gets the point across. But that aside, you know, that's kind of what we've gone over. It's, I'm not going to sit here and talk about Swift 3 for 10 minutes or whatever. I'm, I'm going to talk about other things and that's you know comes to the title of this, of this video how YouTube holds me accountable and what I mean by that is it holds me accountable to finish this iOS application and learn iOS development and the reason behind that is because I told you guys I'm telling you now 
that I am bringing you guys on this journey with me to develop this application. You know, I've tried to kind of develop it before. I tried to take a course here and there, but I kept giving up. I kept giving up. Imagine where I'd be if I didn't give up two years ago when I first, you know, tried to do iOS development. I'd be able to develop an app right now. You guys would be seeing me developing an app instead of learning how to do it. So this time I'm really, really going to do it because I really have my heart set on it. I have, you know, you guys and YouTube are holding me accountable because I said I'd do it. I'm a man of my word, so I'm going to do it. And also, I'm going to be posting a iDev Journey video every Friday. So I have to get enough information within, you know, seven days from Friday, to mainly Thursday to the next Thursday in order to edit and post on Friday. I have to get enough of that information you know, to make a video about. I can't do an, a video, I can't post a video Friday like I'm promising if I don't do the course or if I don't work on my application or if I, you know, if I don't have anything to talk about with iDev. So it, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to be trying to fit as much into each video as possible, which means I'm going to try to learn as much within a seven day span every single week as possible. And that brings me to the next point is that Section 9 is in, in this course is when we start using Firebase and Firebase is going to be my back end of my social network stock market application that I've gone over a little bit but I don't want to go into too much detail where I'm going to start developing my application in Section 9. So I'm going to try to take the information he tells us and integrate it into mine and I may do that a little bit but I'm really going to do it come Section 11 because we're creating a social network with you know using Firebase in section 11 and that's mainly or that's mainly my, my the bones the skeleton at least you know the, the social network on Firebase with you know storage and backend and everything like that so I'm gonna have account profiles I'm sure feed ability to like things and whatnot and mine is gonna be slightly different I'm gonna to have to definitely add in quite a few different features but I'm gonna have the main foundation of the application which is a huge huge thing I you know that's like for me that's the hardest thing is kind of breaking on through to break on through to the other side where where I'm super super confused I don't know where to start to actually having something to start with and then adding things into that sometimes that can make things more difficult but it just makes me more comfortable knowing that I actually have something, you know, to work for instead of trying to learn, learn, learn. I'm learning all this stuff, but I have nothing to show for it. This doing this, I will have an application to show for. It. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to try to get through, you know, these next five sections as quickly but as smart as possible. I'm not going to skim through. I'm not going to skip through unless it's something I already know. I'm trying to watch all these videos from beginning to end because I don't want to miss anything. If if Mark goes go ahead and says oh yeah remember when we talked about this in that video and I'm like wait what we talked about what I don't want to be I don't want to be that guy and I don't want to miss out on anything that that would be educational and beneficial to me so yeah and with this series I'm still trying to figure out what kind of style I want and I did journey three I kind of sat on my front porch and talked to you guys a little bit more so like this video and in, in the last video and in, in I did journey four I, I talked like this, but I also showed you a lot of the computer, a lot of his course, a lot of testimonials and student success stories and whatnot. And I'm trying to flirt with a couple ideas of what you guys would be interested in. I've created, you know, I'm, I'm going to start doing vlogs and some things. I'm going to post those on Tuesdays and or Thursdays. I'm going to post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, whether it be vlog, vlogs or other types of creative edits. You know, I have a lot of ideas that are bouncing around. And a lot of that will be behind the scenes of this. And what I mean by that is it'll be my daily life showing if you if I actually have one up already, if you watch that, you'll know I I put that right here where it shows that I'm not able to do this five, six, eight hours a day. You know, I have school, you know, I'm taking 13 credits while working eight to five full time and I have these videos to do and I have all this other stuff to do, which don't get me wrong, I love being busy. I love, you know, I love everything that I'm doing right now. You know, sometimes you have to go through the hard times in order to get to where you want. Like right now, I wish I already knew all this iOS development, but 
I don't, so I need to go through you know a little bit harder times where I'm, I don't know it, I'm learning it, so I can create what I want when I want. And that, the vlogging series is kind of the behind the scenes of that. And like I said, they'll be post, those will be every Tuesday and Thursday, whether it's vlogs or any type of creative edit that I decide to make, which actually I have a lot of ideas for. I have one really good idea that I'll probably create one I don't know, I'll probably post one either next week, within the next two weeks, I'll have one of those, the ones I'm thinking of out, and I'll let you guys know in the iDev journey to check it out because it'll be, I'm really looking forward to it. But also, since we're talking about schedule, Wednesdays I will be posting technology videos, whether it be tech reviews, I just got the new Lumix, or new to me, Lumix G7, which is a 4K mirrorless 4 and third, 4 thirds camera, I really, really like it. Or maybe something about I don't know, anything that has to do with technology, whether it's within the industry, cameras, anything that I like. I'm going to probably uh, create a PC build video, of, you know, my build that I created, that I built uh, two, two years ago or so, give or take. So I'll probably be creating that. That'll be up next Wednesday. And I'll probably add in more videos, maybe, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or multiple videos in one day. But this is my basic schedule. And you'll see it in my channel art if you ever need to know. It'll say iOS development, technology, and then creative films. And it'll say every Wednesday, Friday, and then Tuesday, Thursday, whatever it says. You can see it on my channel. But that basically is what I want to talk about. I also want to ask you guys, which this will be the question of the day. What drew you to the iDev journey? Was it that you're already an iOS developer, that you want to be an iOS developer and you want someone to go along the journey with you. You want, you know, maybe maybe you feel that I'm holding you accountable just like I'm that, that just like I feel like you guys are holding me accountable to complete this. Whatever the case may be, I want to know and be sure to leave that in the comments below. Also, tell me your plans for the future. You if if you want to be an iOS developer, you better become an iOS developer just like I'm doing right now. And if you want to be an iOS developer, do you want to work for another company, or do you want to start your own company? Do you want to do game development, or do you want to do uh, you know social networks and stuff? When I mean game development, of course, I mean within iOS development, you know, iOS games and and things of that nature. And just just tell me, I really want to know. Leave that in the comments below, and I'll be sure to respond to you every single one. I'll respond to you guys, and I will definitely keep in touch. I'm not here to post a video, you guys watch it, and then that's the end. And then you guys see the next video. I want to communicate, get to know every single one of you, so we can conquer this together. Because sometimes I'll get overwhelmed, sometimes y'all will get overwhelmed, and we need people to bounce ideas off, bounce, you know, somebody to talk to when you're really, really struggling. And I'm here for you guys, and I hope you guys are here for me. So, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it, and please consider subscribing and have a good one.